What's up ladies and all gentlemen, my name is Australian and welcome back to My Summer Card. This is episode number 15, I do believe. I will admit it has been a little while since I've played. We've had some Steam Cloud syncing issues and I've just been busy, so... Uh, but anyway, we're back into it. We're back on the saddle, as they say. Um, actually, you know what? Because I've been waiting for a, a phone call from Fleetari, so it might help if I actually plug the phone in. That would uh, make sense. Now... Okay, that's ready to go, which is good. So we've got a fresh batch of kill you to sell to uh, Mr. Jokey or whatever his name is. What am I doing? I want to put that in a truck. No, sir. I want to put that in the van. Uh, I'm still getting a little confused with the controls because I've been playing a lot of uh, okay, a lot of junkyard trucks. So I'm used to. Uh, Holding down the C key to crouch and stuff like that, but with my summer card, you just have to press it. There we go. Looks like I'm doing squats, I'm working out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feel the burn. Feel it. Anyway. So, ah, because what I have to do is go pick up the, um, what do you call it? Kill you bottles? The empty bottles off the tip. Saves me buying a bunch of new ones. I actually, dude, move. Yeah, I got two empty ones. Which I bought from Timo's. Uh, drank the orange juice out of it, obviously. You can't buy empty <laughs> containers. Now, come on. Can you hurry up and ring, please? Because I want to get this over and done with. I want to pick up the Satsuma. And I also want to uh, get the car inspected in this video as well, if I can. Um, I'm actually going to quickly go see if my uncle is out. Just to sort of kill some time. I don't really want to because I want to hear the phone ring as well. But he might not even be outside. He is. Cool. Because I have men mentioned in previous videos that uh, he's got more dialogue. Like, it doesn't really add anything to the game. But let's see if you got anything else new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same stuff, dude. I'm good. Thank you. Not taking sidesteps. No, you're not. You're just sitting there outside your little house, drinking beer and smoking and coughing. That's the way to do it, I guess. Um, actually, while well, I'm, uh, I'm in two minds again, I was going to go check the letterbox, but I don't think there's anything in there. If there is, oh well. Actually, let's quickly check the fuses. <laughs> Exciting gameplay, huh? Okay, there I go, pressing the wrong key for the win. Okay, seven. They're all good. I mean, look, I've got heaps of freaking fuses anyway. Um, one thing I did realize off camera as well, um, I have to check the tread on the tires on the Satsuma. <clears throat> because uh, if they're below 50%, that will not pass in the uh, suspect suspection? <laughs> inspection. So uh, what I might actually do, because nothing's happening. Fleetari should be ringing me, man. I mean, my car's been there for ages. It is 10 to 3 on a Tuesday afternoon. He closes at 4, so hopefully he rings. But what I'm thinking about doing is cutting the video until this telephone rings. I thought that was a copper, but it's a uh, bus stop. Uh, break. Slam on those anchors. Ah, uh, God, I hate this shit. Turn that off. Um, yeah, I thought instead of sitting around waiting for the phone to ring, I thought I would uh, do something productive and head over to the tip and grab the empty bottles. Empty juice bottles. Might as well. I need to go get them anyway. I uh, just need to keep an eye on my fuel level. Got just under half a tank. It should be enough. Should be all good to grab these and uh, head back home. Wee, wee, whoa, 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 bro. There we go. At least my summer car to driving, like the buttons or keys for driving is normal. Not like a junkyard truck where you gotta hit spacebar to break. I mean, it's just foreign, man. It's just weird to me, you know? But uh, yeah, I was on cop watch on the way down here too. And I was just thinking as well, I don't know if Topless Gun has changed the uh, spawn rate of the coppers. Maybe he's changed it where the cops won't spawn onto the highway until you got your number plates, until the Satsuma's passed inspection. I have no idea. But the only time the coppers have showed up in this playthrough is when I accidentally killed uh, Pina. So, <laughs> right. And of course, they weren't on the highway, they were at Timo's, so I couldn't go shopping. But anyway, let's actually, uh, let's try and turn around, make it a little bit easy to exit. Yeah, that'll do. Right. 
Uh, I will turn the van off because... And I'm just a little bit worried about that fuel level. Opens the door, please. Okay. Now, the good thing about having a backpack is I don't have to go back and forth 20 times. <laughs> or, eight, or 18 times and just... Thing, right. So, no, 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 no. Should be 20. Oh, sorry, 18. There we go, because we've got two in the van. There we go. Uh, I'll let them out individually, because sometimes they can glitch out and God knows where they end up. But there we go. So what normally takes about 20 minutes of real time has taken me about 10 seconds. That is the reason I've got the backpack mod in the first place. Right, that sofa can stay there for now. Oh, look at a door. Ghost door. Actually, you know what? While I'm here... I was actually thinking about maybe bottling... You know what? Maybe we should head down to kill you guys home. And, uh... Bottle that delicious kill you on site. Hmm. I don't know. Do I need to keep an eye on my uh, fatigue as well? Uh, yeah, I'll turn that off. I don't know. I'll think about it. Hmm. Should I risk it? Alright, so considering Mr. Kill you is home, we're going to sell him. Ugh, break. A fresh batch. I'm going to turn that off. I was a little worried about the fuel level, the diesel level, but I just remembered that I do have a full diesel jerry cans worth of diesel, so... <laughs> all good. Hey, your missus is still talking shit, but... Mutt? Mate? Mate? Can't even speak. How you doing, bro? How you doing? Anyway. Let's... Dude, this is a special batch. It's been uh, fermenting for like two weeks, bro. It's going to be super strong, man. It's going to be so good. <laughs> okay. So we'll cheat. Just got to be careful doing it like this because, like I've mentioned, you can accidentally put the whole van in your backpack. And uh, that is not a good time. So we'll just grab these. Uh, grab it. Boink. And a boink. Okay. Slowly crawl out of the van. Come on, dude. Move. Okay. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, bro. Just, uh, you know. Look at that. Magic trick. For free, too. Right. <laughs> okay, we take this lid off. Oh, my God. I accidentally just filled one. That's clever. Alright, there you go. Uh-huh. Okay, so that one's... Whoa. Yeah, you can easily lose stuff in this game, too. Strong as hell. Yeah? You know what? I feel sorry for your liver, bro. Because, like, you drink literally. Like, these 20 bottles of kill you will be gone by tomorrow morning. <laughs> like, how are you still alive? How have you not died from alcohol poisoning yet, dude? Like, seriously. You've got one strong body and liver, I tell you. And your wife's just constantly yelling. Jeez, man. Do you ever give her a bottle or two of kill you just to shut her up? Maybe she'll pass out, mate, and then, you know, you won't have to listen to her. <laughs> oh, this game. Never ceases to amaze me. There goes the train. And stay on the table, please. Yeah, stay. Hey, train, you're not a steam train, alright? You're electric. Stop it. Okay. Right, so... I can't remember how much you get for a full batch. I think it's 3400 Stay on the table. Oop. And... There we go. Enjoy your mountain of kill you, dude. And try and find some room. There you go. Should be enough for one more. Yes, sir. Oh, there goes the green car. I managed to avoid him. And yep, there we go. Hang on. Wait, what? Did I miss a... Thing? I don't think I did. 
Because they should be just enough for 20. Wait, how much are you giving me? Wait, um, oh, whatever. I'll take it, dude. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to tip it because I'll probably forget. I'm just going to tip that out. There we go. Nice clean bucket. Alright, throw you in there. Alright, man. Have a good one. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, say hi to your wife for me. Wink, wink. Alright, so at least we've got some more money. Uh, it's better than just sitting around home. At home, waiting for the... For the uh, phone to ring but uh yeah so I'll, I'll get myself home and i'll probably save it and we'll pick it up on wednesday morning <laughs> big yawn good morning it's wednesday what time is it 6 a.m wow we um quick fuse check what i've decided to do is i might just make my way up to fleet Tari's. And just grab the car. I mean, unless he rings. But I don't think he's going to ring because he doesn't even open until 8. So, And I was debating on how to get down there. Uh, I could use the van or the truck. But then, you know, I'm kind of stuck. So I guess my only other option... Uh, pick it up. No. Dude. Just... Come on. Highlight freaking Jonas, you piece of crap. I hate this thing, man. Definition of death, death trap right here. Pick it up. <laughs> Grab it. Oh, he's trying to get on it. Don't get on it. Pick the stupid thing up. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's all I wanted to do. Well done. Okay. Super strong I am. Check it out. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the kickstand was... No. Oh my god. Right. Now the kickstand is up. So yes, yeah, stay there. Jeez, man. <laughs> the freaking Joan is, eh? Um, just gonna have a quick drink. I'm not that thirsty, but you know, quick sip while we can. Um, yeah, I really don't think Fleetar is gonna ring, so but I better grab my helmet. Yeah, yeah, I hate this thing. I hate it. Ah, hang on. So I'll take a quick look. There we go. And make my way to Fleetaris. I mean, it was either this or the boat, actually. Oh, actually, I could take the boat. Hmm. That'd be safer. Wait a minute. Let me, uh... <laughs> yeah, the boat is here. Which it should. Should be here. Um, the only problem is I can't fully remember the way. I know Fleetaris is that way. Pretty sure it's that direction. Via the lake. Which would make sense, because when you drive, you come around there. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it is. It's got to be that way. Because I was thinking, because the dance hall's just around about there somewhere. Uh, now I've just got to think fuel level. Don't know how much two-stroke is in the engine. Um, hmm. I suppose... Oh, we've got some two-stroke here. Let's have a quick check. I think I'll use the boat, actually. Ah, oh, yeah. We got heaps. But, me and my OCD, just want to, yeah, I just want to top her up. It's plenty of fuel to get there, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. There we go. Alright, still a little bit left in there, I think. Okay, we'll close that up. Lovely clear water. Uh, actually, you empty. I just want to double check. No, you're still good. Alright, driving mode, let's go. Okay, I think I finally found my way <laughs> to Flitaris via the boat. It's down here, I couldn't see that from back there. You cannot see that. Alright, I think I'm on the right track <laughs> again. But f seriously, from back there, like from where, you know, you leave your home, 
you cannot see this. It just looks like, you know, sort of like a coast, sort of like a bank area. Not this sort of inlet. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. But Fleet Tower should be just up on the right. Ooh, here we go. Uh, at least it's still early. Is that it? This has got to be it, yeah? It has to be, because... Venti guys to the left and stuff, so this has to be it. It's just a li little bit longer than I thought. I thought it was a little bit closer, but obviously not. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oops. Hey, there's the bridge. <laughs> Alright. Good times. I was beginning to uh, regret taking the boat. So I thought, well, at least with the moped, I know where the hell I'm going, you know? But, persistence, I found my way. Alright, get out of driving mode. Ugh. Okay. Flitari! I don't know why you haven't rang me, dude. Come on, bro. Nice and quiet. Now, if I'm going to guess the time, I'd say it's because I left at, what, 6am-ish, maybe a little bit after. I reckon it's about, yeah, his fleet hour is open, so it's definitely 8am. Uh, there's the beauty. Um, actually, there's a clock in here. Okay, it is... Oh, 20 past 8. Yo! A terre, terre. Poilla mielessä. Poilla mielessä. Ei jumalauta, nyt on sellainen juttu, että joku pistää mun silmään pahasti. Ei, ei the car of yours ruins my driveway. Ai saatana, you don't at least tietää, mikä look at me on. when you say that crap, bro. Tää on sun autos. Auttaiskohan siihen, jos hey? otan niinku hitsaajalla sit päähän, että mä en niinku varmaakaan näe yhtään mitään. Mitä? <laughs> They're so dramatic to Finns when they talk. Yeah, anyway, thanks for ringing, dickhead. Anyway, so I'm assuming everything's good. Now, what I've done, because to check the uh, the tire wear, you have to take them off, the car. Like, they can't be on, they can't be mounted to the to the car. Uh, so what I did was I checked it in the editor, and I, uh, I just put them all to 100. So, yeah, kind of a little bit of a cheap, but at the end of the... Actually, do I have the triangle I do all right so I am assuming that this is all ready to go I guess I'm gonna have to take a risk get a little bit of uh choke going oh yeah actually I hope my fluids are okay uh, I should probably have checked that before I started because I don't want that radiator blinder stuff you can get um, well, what am I doing? I'm trying to open the freaking bonnet. There we go. Hood lock. Okay, I'm just, I am just going to quickly check the oil. The dipstick. Uh, it's actually a little lower than I thought. You know what? I'm not going to risk it because I really don't want that radiator blindness shit. Only lasts about 10 minutes, but that's still 10 minutes. That's, uh, that's going to be annoying and I'm going to have to cut out the video anyway. So, anyway, we'll just go. Hope for the best. <laughs> to be honest. Alright. Okay. Oops. Wrong key. 13.8. Interesting. I know she's not warm yet, but... Okay, choke is fully in. 14.6, but... Uh, she Actually, she warms up pretty quickly. So there's no rev meter, no, no rev counter, but... That's alright. You can go off by listening anyway. Alright, so let's try and get her down to the inspection. 
Oh, she's actually, she feels good. She's running all right. All right. I'm not going to even attempt to go on the highway at the moment. Just because, um, if the coppers do spawn. Well, I'm just trying to listen. Sounds okay. It's running okay. I don't want the coppers to fire me. Driving with our number plates. If you do that in real life, you're, uh, you're going to be in a lot of shit, so... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Not my luck, I'll probably break something on the way there. So we'll just take it nice and slow, nice and easy. She feels good though. There's no power cuts or anything, not like when I first started it at home. Okay, now we just don't want Casella to drive by either. So many things you have to factor in, you know, when you're driving in this game. <laughs> It's like, is the car okay? Does the sound okay? Is the drive okay? Is Caselli anywhere near me? <laughs> oh, so much. I think he's added some audio there. I've never heard that before, really. Uh, what is that? What is that audio? It sounds like someone's breaking off the car. What the hell? She feels good though. She feels smooth. Just don't know about that noise, that audio. If you know what that is, let me know. Maybe she's just added that. Doesn't necessarily mean anything bad, hopefully. Now I'm just looking at my air fuel ratio there. That is a little low, 12.8. Which I suppose fuel economy wise and stuff, that is probably where you want it. Um, you probably want it more 13 point something for the rally, I'm guessing. Um, it seems to be running just fine. There's no shotgun noises or anything, no bangs, and there's no... Uh, I hate that noise, man. There's no, um, spluttering coughing sounds, you know, when it's too lean. Turn. Alright. Alright, Caselli, just stay away, yeah? I only have to go a little bit more up the road. Just don't come by because, like, if I'm in the truck with a van, it doesn't really bother me. I just don't want to wreck the car before I even get a chance to inspect the damn thing, you know? Or get it inspected. Okay, I think we should be good. Alright, so at least the thing I will be open, Liddell, or whatever his name is. Yeah, I swear he's changed the audio on this car. The engine and some other stuff, so. Okay. Yo! What up, player? I'm here to get my car inspected. Uh. Uh, let me try that. I am gonna keep that running for a second just because I wanna check this. Okay, that should be okay. Alright, get in. Turn her off, make sure that's... The handbrake's definitely on. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth, here we go. I'm just gonna double check that. Because I've seen cars fall off. <laughs> this hoist. Uh, I might give her a slight nudge. With me prison tats, bruh. There we go, just a slight nudge, just a tiny bit. Come on. Alright. Uh, that didn't really do anything, did it? Hang on. Maybe I have to get a little bit lower. There, whoa, too much, too much. Oh no, that's perfect. Alright. Yo! Uh, hey, good morning, welcome to Liddell Car Inspection. 325, let's do it, bro. You got your screw screwdriver in your hand? I can see your butt crack. Alright, moment of truth, here we go. Ah, <sighs> turn off the UI. <laughs> Should 
Should take some screenshots, you know, why not? Memories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of crazy inspection is this? Wow, you're very sweaty, bro. Please pass. <laughs> you are such a character with this car of yours. I know, right? God, is that moving? Oh my god, it's barely on the... F oh no, it's alright. I'm not getting neither chicken... Baby chickens or eggs. How did I go, bro? What? What's wrong with it? Emissions. There, you mean emissions, bro? What? What is? What is this? Thank you for visiting. Welcome again. <laughs> Okay, I am back. So I did quickly look that up, and apparently it's uh, Yakabareta, Yakabi. Um, people on the online forum were saying that you should. Actually, do I? I don't have a toolbox with me, do I? That's kind of annoying. Uh, you should be setting your carb like your your finger to um. Do it open. No, I don't. Set it to around fifteen or something like that for it to pass. Uh, so that's interesting. So what I might do is. Get myself back home. Uh, grab the thing, retune the uh, the carb, and uh, we'll, we'll go for a second inspection. All right, what I've decided to do instead of going all the way back home, I actually forgot that um, <laughs> you could probably grab a screwdriver from Flitari's here. And I'll just quickly uh, tune uh, tune it. I suppose tune it. Uh, to tune the carby. That's what I'm trying to say, um, bro. Give me a your screwdriver. Thank you. Why'd you tune it so so lean, huh? You just wasted three hundred and twenty-five mark of mine. Anyway, okay. Open the thing. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> there it is. One, two. Actually, I think I need to go the other way. So that's four that way. I think as long as it's in the green, it should pass the. Uh, Okay, that's hasn't really done anything. Should pass inspect in the inspection if it's in the green, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, that tells me I'm going the correct way, <laughs> the way I want to go. Uh, well, wait, find you. Come on. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, when I read the thing, it said around 15, you should be safe, like you will pass. So. Okay. It does, hmm, might go one or two more turns. There we go. Alright, I think we're safe now with that. Okay, close this please. Alright. I'll see you all back at Liddell's. Okay, quickly have a goose. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Alright. Uh, it's gonna have a quick dart, just in case. Uh, don't want the don't want my character dying from uh, from stress. Actually, I could probably smoke and get this going at the same time. It's not like real life where you can can't smoke in a building. Hey, bro. This time you will pass me. Yeah. Because that's frankly some bullshit. I did notice actually on the way here the first time. Because I did mention that it was actually quite low, I thought. 
Maybe Fleetari's trying to sabotage me, you know? Because he doesn't like the Satsuma. Alright, yep, you bang that car with that screwdriver, dude. Okay, I'm getting thirsty again. Again, but I should be okay. Alright. Knock, knock, knock. God, look at that. <laughs> yeah, 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 such a character. Yada, yada, yada. You know what's interesting I noticed as well when I turned the car off? No, I can't see it, doesn't matter. The um, air fuel mixture was exactly where it was when the car was on. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure what happened. Well, I know I paid double. <laughs> Alright, let's proudly display our plates. Uh, there we go. It's funny how the plates go over the front bumper. It's a little funny. Uh, give me that, please. VBX. Oh, VB is probably like one of the worst beers you can get. If you're not Australian, you probably don't know. You probably never heard of VB, but it stands for Victoria Bitter. I don't know why I keep trying to go so low. But yay, celebration. Thank you very much, sweaty armpit bloke. Right, we are street legal. Which is good. I know it's only taken, what, 15 episodes, but... Hey, at least it's been done. Okay, actually, I'm just gonna... Yeah, that is definitely off. There we go. Uh. Now, I can tune that back, of course. It's just for the, in for the uh, inspection, but... We should be fine. Alright. Whoop, put it into first gear, that might help. Um Now I did leave some beers out the front here. I'm gonna actually then again I wanna drive the highway home and see if the coppers are gonna spawn in. And I know for a fact that there's a water well just down here. So I'm gonna go there. Quench my first. Okay, put in neutral, hopefully the green car doesn't... Oops, get out. Come around. Got to remember to put my seatbelt on too. Because you probably get a fine if you don't wear your seatbelt. Which makes sense, that's how it's how it is in real life. I'm a little bit hungry, but I'll, I'll be able to... Wait until I get home for that. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Drain the main vein. Ah, good, at least that's finally done. Um, which is good. Now I can start kitting the car out and getting a rally ready. I guess that's the next goal to achieve, to get, is to actually enter the rally and then win it. And, uh, I will be driving the rally, you know, taps during the rally, so it should be a bit of fun. I've never tap steered the rally ever, <laughs> so it should be a laugh. A hoot and a holler, mate. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get home safely. Actually, I want to... I want to wind down my window, bro. Okay. Can't do that while I'm driving, maybe? No, I don't know. Ah, it's good to finally have the Satsuma built and running properly, you know? And stretch her legs a bit. On the highway. Uh, I'm gonna go left, I think. Alright, boom, let's go. Not even looking. Okay, there's no cars behind me, it's fine. Yeah, he's definitely tweaked with the car audio. 100%. Okay, I better be careful here, actually. <laughs> I might be getting a fine. I think it's 82, isn't it? For, it used to be 100, but I think he's changed it to 80 as your uh, maximum. Your speed limit, should I say? There goes the bastard bus driver. Hmm, I'm not 100% sure on that. Actually, I might shift down to third. Just 
Trying to cruise it in third, maybe? I don't know. Like, I want the cops to rock up, but I don't at the same time. Oh, and actually, one thing I just remembered, I've got to watch out because I'm not sure about my coolant level. And my oil level is a little low for my liking, so I better not push her too hard. Plus the possibility of the cops spawning. I know it could have gone that way, but it's okay. So now that's on 14.4, 13.8. I still don't know why it's so erratic. I mean, I don't think it should be jumping around like that. Not so much, you know. <laughs> Good old cop watch. At least now we can start upgrading her. I got the fiberglass hood and stuff like that at home. I got the twin carbs. I've got uh, the tachometer. I'm trying to think of what else what I want, like what I want to need for it for the rally. I know I'm going to need the fire extinguisher. I'm, I am going to get the rally steering wheel because it does help with that notch in the middle. So you know when you you know position of the wheels and stuff like that. Kind of feels weird driving it, <laughs> driving the car like this. I feel like a bloody learner. But uh, I think what I might do is cut the video. Then if anything interesting happens between now and getting home, I'll show it. Uh, but if not, I'll catch you at home. And we're home. There we go. I forgot, I forgot I parked the van right there. But uh, for now, I think I'm just going to park her there and turn her off. You can hear the fan on the radiator going off its tits, which is understandable. Still going. <laughs> uh, okay, what I might do actually is just move this out the way. Throw this in the trench where it belongs. Piece of shit. <laughs> really don't like the Jonas, I tell you. But uh, I think I'll wrap up episode 15 there. Um, I know we had to spend, what, 650 mark to get her inspected, but uh, that's the way it goes. At least it's, uh, it was an easy fix, so we, we could get it in, uh, so we could pass inspection. Jeez, getting tongue-tied. But uh, I've been playing for quite a while. There will be quite a lot of editing in this video, so something to look forward to. Yay! But uh, while I do my outro, I might have a little snack. Oh, shit, I need to get food. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow and most likely in the next episode but we'll also in the next episode we shall be upgrading her a little bit we'll be putting the twin carbs in uh this dual tip the tachometer and of course this uh fiberglass hood so we'll get to do that uh there's a random tire the gt rim <laughs> i lost the others i can't remember if i mentioned that in the previous video but that's why there's only one of them there that's one of the bad things about using the backpack mod yeah, because if you die or if you save with anything in that backpack, they are gone forever. But there we go. I'm going to wrap up episode 15 there. Like I said, at least we got the car inspected. At least that's done. That goal has been completed and accomplished. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified of every time I upload a video. And I'll catch you in episode 16. Adios.